Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. In this video, I'm going to share some of my thoughts on Luminar Neo and whether it might be just the perfect image editor and raw processor for your pictures and for your kind of uh, workflow. The reason for this video is that now when I'm recording this video, it's Black Friday time and there are some really awesome offers on Luminar Neo. For that, I'm going to put an affiliate link down below just in case after watching this video, you decide to purchase Luminar Neo. And please also remember to use my uh, promo code SULANTO for extra 10% off. But now, without further ado, let's check out what Luminar Neo can offer for you. I'm first going to share some things that I think are definite upsides on Luminar Neo, and then I'm going to share a few things that I think are not so great. One of the things that I really like in Luminar Neo is that it's so easy to get started. The learning curve is very, very mild compared to some other uh, similar products. It's so easy to get started even if you don't have any experience, previous experience on raw processing, for example. There are so many presets that you can use and go pretty far without never touching any of the manual controls or manual sliders. The presets are segmented by uh, the subject, but you can of course uh, use any preset for any picture, however you like, and you can even fine tune the presets after you learn a little bit more about Luminar Neo. In the Essentials panel or in the Creative panel, you'll find many easy-to-use tools and settings to modify your picture without any or hardly any previous experience on image editing or raw processing. And these uh, settings only mostly have one or two sliders and they are very self-explanatory and super easy to use, like I already said, without pretty much any previous experience. And after some time with Luminar Neo, your image processing skills probably go up, they develop, and you can gradually move towards fully manual settings if that's what you want. The manual settings offer a very comprehensive set of sliders to create pretty much any kind of unique look to your pictures. And when you use those manual sliders for your pictures, no one else has the same exact look because you made it all manually. And that can give you some really great satisfaction too. Luminar Neo also has LUT support, L-U-T, lookup table. LUTs are a little bit like presets, but they are a standard. So they are cross-compatible between apps, and that's what separates them from presets, which are usually only compatible with one specific app. And if you'd like to go beyond basic raw processing, Luminar Neo offers plenty of manipulation tools also, like sky replacement, atmosphere, relight, and many other such tools. Luminar Neo also has two new AI-driven manipulation tools. The first one is called Gen Erase, and with that you can remove some distracting elements from a picture very easily. The other one is Gen Swap. With Gen Swap, you can modify some things in your picture. Let's say you don't like a certain building in your picture or a certain tree or whatever element in your picture. With Gen Swap, you can modify that and last but not least, Luminar Neo also offers HDR, high dynamic range, look and focus stacking. So all in all, pretty comprehensive and uh, complete set of tools all together. But there are also some downsides in Luminar Neo. The first downside, pretty bad to me at least, is the lack of dedicated lens profiles. There is a tool for distortion correction and you can even automatically correct distortions. Sometimes it works pretty well, sometimes not, but it's not nearly as good as the dedicated lens profiles, let's say in Lightroom or DxO Photo Lab. And another downside is the lack of keyword support. So if you'd like to organize your archive based on keywords, 
then Luminar Neo simply is a no-go for you because you can't use keywords. And if you are into printing, Luminar Neo might also be a no-go because there is no soft proofing. What it means that Luminar Neo cannot simulate the print, how the print is going to look before you actually make the print. I love printing and I can tell you that soft proofing is a very, very useful feature and it can help you to get your desired printing result much quicker than without soft proofing. And one more downside, in my opinion, is that the noise reduction tool in Lumina Neo is not as effective as it is in some other apps. It's not a big deal if you have a moderate amount of noise in your pictures, but if you sometimes have those super, super noisy pictures, then Lumina Neo simply cannot do um, as good a job as, let's say, uh, Photolab or Lightroom. So, who is Lumina Neo for? I think one group of photographers might be those who like the raw format. They like what it offers, but they still don't want to spend too much time editing their pictures. Luminar Neo can offer some easy tools, plenty of presets for some pretty stunning results with little amount of work. Another group that might benefit from Luminar Neo is those who'd like to create some extra visual twist or impact for the social media uh, pictures. Luminar Neo offers plenty of tools for a little bit of extra drama, vivid colors and whatnot. There you have it, my opinion on Luminar Neo. I hope this helps you to decide whether Lumina Neo might be the perfect raw processor and image editor for your pictures and for your kind of image processing or whatever you want from your pictures. And if you decide to purchase the app, please use my affiliate link down below and please also use my code SULANTO to get extra 10% off. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you soon in the next video.